Hi, I'm Kai, and today I want to show you three different tracking functionalities in ePlan. They are very useful, for example, when you want to have a look for your potential where it goes through through your drawing. So you can mark it and find it all over your drawing. How this works is part of this video. So stay tuned. So here on this page, I want to show you the three different tracking functionalities in ePlan and how they're working. We go here to the tab View, and here we have the three tracking functionalities. The signal tracking, potential tracking, and net tracking. Let us start with the signal tracking. So when we click here on signal tracking, and now mark one of the auto connecting lines, for example, this one, you can see that this auto connecting line now is colored in yellow. If I click again on signal tracking, so the signal tracking gets off and the auto connecting line gets red back again. And now it pl I place it here on the feedback signal. And you can see that the signal stops here on the FC6. What's the reason for this? So when we double click on the FC6 and go to the tab Simple Function Data, you can see that here is a small checkbox with signal isolation. When I deactivate it and click Apply and OK and switch off the signal tracking and switch it on and place it again, you can see that now the signal tracking goes through the feedback signal. So this is the way how you can have influence on the signal tracking. But basically the idea of the signal tracking is right when you set the with signal isolation checkbox. So the next tracking possibility is potential tracking. We have a look here. When I place it here under the MCB, you can see that now the whole potential is highlighted in yellow. The question is now, why goes the potential tracking through the MCB to our power supply and not through our lamp here? So let's have a look on the symbol. When we have a look on the symbol on symbol function data and here go to logic, you can see here the property transfer potential to. And here is written the two. Here on top you see one. And on the symbol you see that one is here on top and two on the bottom side. And this means that on the connection one, the potential is transferred to two. So basically it goes through the MCB. And on the connection point two, you have the opposite. So it goes through one. When I delete now here the one and click OK and deactivate and activate the potential tracking and place it here, you can see now that it is not highlighted above the MCB because it stops here. When I place it above the MCB, it goes now through the MCB because I just deleted one of the properties so that it's not transferred from 2 to 1 anymore, but still transferred from 1 to 2. And what is also possible with the potential tracking is, for sure, that you mark, for example, here the potential, and the potential is highlighted over the whole drawing. So when we jump to the opposite side and to the next side, you can see that through the whole drawing, this potential is highlighted in yellow. And the last tracking functionality is net tracking. This is a little bit com more complicated. But what is now the difference to signal tracking or potential tracking? Here you can see it, in my opinion, very good. Now is highlighted the auto connecting line between the power supply and the terminal 
and Jumper to the next terminal and to the next terminal. To explain it a little bit more clear, the net cracking highlighted all the connections which are connected together when you think about the real wiring in your cabinet. When we connect here the wire, we can use a double ferrule here and here and the last ferrule here. So basically we have all the wires together and this is what the net dragging highlighted. Maybe we go to another connection, for example this one. So basically you will connect one wire on this terminal and one on this terminal and this is the reason why the net dragging just highlighted now this small part. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.